So we're going to start this week with a story, I think. And whose story will it be? Oh, already me? Yeah, already. You, I, I told already you, you were to first you, for this reason. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I'm just used to there being a bit more, you know, like uh, foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going in dry this week, Luke. Go on. <laughs> start with your story. <laughs> God, why did I have to pick the word ball play? <laughs> anyway, so my story this week, you may have seen this if you frequent BBC News. Um, the st- <laughs> frequent? Do, frequent BBC do News. You frequent, frequent BBC News, guys? Yes, it's, it's, like, it's like a tavern, I frequent it. <laughs> so my story, the headline is 750 million genetically modified insects to be released. James, have you seen this story? I have not, no. Interesting. Why so, were they incarcerated? No. <laughs> Crimes against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, actually, that's yeah, not... <laughs> exactly. Basically, um, a British company uh, has created 750 million genetically modified mosquitoes that oh. are going to be released in Florida Keys to lower the mosquito population because obviously mosquitoes cause many diseases, including Zika, the Zika virus, mm-hmm. uh, dengue, dengue fever. Deng- <laughs> dengue fever. I think it's dengue. Is it dengue? I, re- I really hope it is because otherwise I'm corrected. Science to come up with shorter words for things. Um, I mean, malaria is a big disease. Malaria. That the mosquitoes, <laughs> that's, the, that's true. The mosquitoes are responsible for. So basically, how this works: they have genetically modi- modified 750 million male mosquitoes, and it's a bit of a roundabout process. Like you'd think that we can just like kill all the mosquitoes, which is kind of what we do right now. Um, and this has been basically in the pipeline for decades. They've been trying to get this technology sort of signed off, and it has actually happened around the world in other places, like such as Brazil. Um, but this is, as far as I'm aware, the first time this is happening in America. Um, and at the moment, what they do is they basically um, use pesticides. They sprinkle it all over from these planes that they have that basically just go over, dropping Um, pesticides over a landmass and that kills sort of around half the population of mosquitoes Uh, i imagine it kills more than just the mosquitoes though surely i assume it kills more than just that wasn't specified in the bbc article for some reason (laughs) but um yeah i imagine it kills much more than just mosquitoes it's very non non non-specific um and what this does basically is they're releasing male mosquitoes which male mosquitoes are actually harmless. They feed on nectar. Um, And it's the female mosquitoes that actually go and suck your blood and give you Zika virus or Mm. dengue virus or malaria or whatever you Mm. don't want. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Whatever you don't want. They're they're giving it to you. (laughs) Here is this awkward yet unreturnable (laughs) gift from me. (laughs) Female mosquito. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, okay. Um, and, And so these male mosquitoes Um, carry a gene which when they um, mate with the female mosquitoes the female offspring of those female mosquitoes just die Mm -hmm. and so um, it means that the 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 current generation of mosquitoes successfully breed but that those female mosquitoes which are the ones we need to worry about in terms of getting all the viruses because they're the ones that suck the blood um, they just die and the male offspring of those female um, mosquitoes carry the same gene, so we'll continue this cycle with the next generation of mosquitoes, and eventually there'll be just like a few hanging around, uh, holding on. Yeah, but, until they ha- mm. until they have sex with one of those death men, which is <laughs> what <laughs> once they because what so at some point one would assume that um, pretty much all of the male mosquito population will be killers, you know, as in we'll carry the gene that will kill the yeah. female offspring. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the hope, I think. I don't think they want the mosquitoes to hang around. Uh, and this is a problem because... It, this... They're definitely not doing this because they want mosquitoes <laughs> to hang around. Uh, but this is a risky thing because, you know, there's all sorts of, like, disrupting a, like a food chain or disrupting... Um, Corey will probably tell us more about this, but there's a very delicate, delicate balance in nature. And we don't really know... Uh, we have tested this in other places. We tested it in Brazil. Um, yeah, test it in Brazil before doing it in America. That sounds... That's, like... that's <laughs> what, that sounds very American. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is, this is what's happening. Now, before this, um, we had the pesticides and we also had a method that was used where we would sterilize male mosquito, more male animals using radiation. Mm. Um, but apparently we weren't able to be precise enough for it to work on mosquitoes. I assume basically this means that you like, they're small. <laughs> yeah, it's cause they're small. <laughs> I assume because you don't want to kill the mosquito, you have to, or you don't want to kill the animal you're trying to sterilize. You fire radiation at, I assume it's balls. 
and or whatever wherever it uses to create its um gametes gametes yeah that's the one thank you cory wherever <laughs> it uses to make its gametes you try and sterilize those gametes but mosquitoes that probably i assume have tiny little balls <laughs> <laughs> um, if they have balls at all, one could assume. <laughs> that they just had full size. Look, you've <laughs> never seen a male. With, you've never seen a male mosquito. It's because they can't fly, drag <laughs> those things around. <laughs> um, so yeah, there are there are um, objections to this. Now, Corey, do you know any more about? I have a little bit more, but do you know any more about this from your reading? I mean, I'd, about this, I know more about a lot of cases like this. So we try not to mess with nature. When well, I say we try not to mess with nature. We do mess with na with nature an awful lot, but we try not to mess with um, sort of food webs mm. and um, and animals that might and and pe animals that are pests to us, but might actually be quite important in the uh, in the food chain. For example, um, there's a big reason that Australia doesn't let you take any animals there, and it's because we've messed up Australia yes. quite a bit. Yes, no. uh, Jack, I think you must you They've might know something about this. Quite a few. Uh... I think, what was the most recent one? Was it Cane Toads? I think Cane Toads was the most recent one. I feel like Cane before Toads that was like was, a while ago. But it yeah. was a while ago. Yeah. There's probably been more since then, but it was the last big one. Yeah. And then before that was Rabbits. We have, in Western Australia, we have a rabbit-proof fence. Yeah. Keeping rabbits out of Western Australia. That's crazy. That's so, because it goes rabbits... all the way up along the country. It's mad. Rabbits aren't... <laughs> It's like the Great Wall of China. Yeah, for but just for there's just an for advert rabbits. that makes fun of that. Really, the fact that we have a fence going along the country, but it's for rabbits. That makes sense yeah. though. But uh, rabbits are actually not native to the UK either. Um, we they introduced them here from I don't know, I think Spain or something. But yeah, so Australia's had a lot of problems like that. And whenever we're whenever you're working on things in the lab, there is a very big and scary issue, particularly with pathogens, uh, like so you know bacteria or viruses. If you're working on anything like that in the lab, it's a very big issue because. If you're making something, you know, more pathogenic or um, you accidentally make something that can be quite dangerous, you don't want it getting out at all because that's how all zombie films start. That is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> we, we, take, we try to take extra precautions with that and um, we are trying to come up with some ways of making sure that anything we make in a lab mm. um, can't breed with anything outside of a lab. Well, the re the way that we one of the ways that we do that is kind of similar to um, giving the female mosquitoes... Um, basically like an antibiotic what we what we do is we we make it so that the bacteria can only can only survive uh if they have a certain um sort of a certain amino acid let's say ah. but they can't produce that amino acid and they can't get it from the environment the only way you can get it is from in the lab so right if they're not on a surface that's got that it's got that particular thing that they need to survive then they can't survive wow oh. yeah. that's fascinating i think that's, that's like I a dead man's switch that yeah that's like once you take this thing away it will automatically destroy itself. Yeah, or yes. can't survive outside the lab. Uh, so this is kind of this is kind of a similar thing to that, except the whole point is we want them to get out and uh, and mess up the ecosystem. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that was a that was a good one. Well, that was I a really good story. Yeah. Thanks. Thought I'd bring something other than like, is the universe conscious? <laughs> Are we real? <laughs> something more close. So to you home. brought a mosquito. A mosquito. Uh, what's the word? A mosquito word what's the word for? conspiracy there a we mosquito go mosquito conspiracy a mosquito conspiracy not a yeah. conspiracy that's what you would say if it it's was not, a conspiracy though wouldn't not you? a con mm. yes all conspiracy <laughs> theorists said that mm. yeah true true if you enjoyed that clip head over to patreon.com forward slash sci guys where you can find the full show or you can stay here and catch up on all sci guys episodes or you can follow us on twitter instagram and facebook at sci guys pod to find out when we're doing more live shows <laughs>